Hey guys, what's up? So today we're gonna check out a new accessory for your M1 Mac Mini. So this is my current USB-C Hajibis hub that has a hard drive enclosure on the bottom. This is a Sabrent docking station. It has a built-in cooling fan and it fits up to four SSDs inside. It is USB 3.0 with transfer speeds up to 5 gigabits per second. Let's take a closer look at all the specs on the box. It goes for around $50 on Amazon. I'll leave a link to it in the description below if you want to check it out. It's also plug and play so no need to install any software. It will also read and write up to 4 drives simultaneously which is pretty cool. So if you use a lot of external storage drives, this is great as you could connect them all at the same time instead of having to switch between them. Now let's unbox it and see what's included. It is packaged pretty well. Got a box right here that includes a USB cable and power adapter. Here's the USB cable, has this weird looking connector on this end and the regular USB on the next. This is the power adapter, so you actually need to plug this dock in separately. Now let's get the docking station out so we can have a closer look. Here we go. So the tower design looks pretty good. It would be great if they offered it in different colors though. You have the power button on the bottom and the top button is to control the fan. It is very lightweight. On the back you have this weird looking USB 3.0 port and your power port. You also have this cool looking vent design. So that plus the fan, this shouldn't overheat. Let's peel this plastic off. Nice rubber grips on the bottom to keep it in place. It is magnetic so you just pull it apart like this. These are the four slots for the SSDs. It's a cool looking design. I'm sure this accessory will come in handy for a lot of y'all watching. This top piece is where the fan is located. The magnets on it are pretty good. You can also register the product on their website and get a 2 year warranty extension. This is the quick start guide but no need for that, you're already watching this video. This is my 1TB Samsung 870 SSD and this is my 120GB SanDisk SSD. I've used Sabrent products before, this is their SATA connector that I used to connect this SSD to my old iMac where I had macOS installed on it. To get everything connected, simply pull the top part off, take your SSD or hard drive and slide it in the slot like this. Make sure you feel it connect to the SATA connector inside. Once it's connected properly, it shouldn't fall out and it shouldn't wobble around inside. If you just put it in there and don't click it in properly, you'll notice that it wobbles and you can easily take it out. So keep that in mind. Now just simply put the top piece back on there. Next up, once you have the USB cable connected to your Mac mini, go ahead and plug it into the dock. And then plug the power cable in. Then you just press the power button right here to turn it on and it lights up in blue. You can press the button on the top to turn on the fan. 
press it again to turn it off. You can use it without the fan, it's just your preference. The fan just helps keep everything cool. There are indicator lights on the front that shows which SSD slots are being used. Let's put this next one in. And as you can see, it instantly recognizes it. The LED light will flash for that specific drive slot when data is being read or written to it, so that's cool. Now I have two lights on the front for both SSDs and the others remain blank since they're empty. Here's a look at how I have it set up at my desk. So this is what the fan sounds like, it's a bit loud, but I guess I'm just used to the M1 Mac Mini being so quiet. Once you have everything connected, go to Finder. Here on the left, you can see my external drives that are connected to the dock. I have this folder right here with some videos to test the transfer speeds. The file size is almost 13 gigabytes, so let's see how long it takes to transfer from my desktop to the SSD. So it says less than a minute to transfer almost 13 gigabytes. Let's see. All done, that's pretty good. Now let's run some disk speed tests and see how it does. Select the SSD, click open, and click start. Getting over 300 megabytes per second on the right. and almost 300 megabytes per second on the read, so that's pretty good. I'm sure you already know the story about how external storage drives, read and write speeds are basically cut in half on the new M1 Max. Overall, I think it's a great product. I would love to know what you think about it. In my testing, the only issues that I found was that if you eject one SSD from Finder and take it out of the dock, the other SSDs will disconnect for a second, but immediately reconnects. And if you insert an SSD while the dock is powered on and it doesn't show up, you have to turn the dock off and back on or simply unplug the USB cable from the Mac Mini and plug it back in. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with a friend. Comment down below and let me know what videos you want to see next. You can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter at LamarMK. As always, thanks for watching, stay safe and peace out.